Next time on Star Trek New Voyages. Scott Enterprise, Mayday, Mayday. Scotty, what happened? No idea, Captain. There's nothing at the outpost that should have went up that way. Time to disobey authority. I figured you were going to do the same, Dr. Marcus. Please, call me Carol. Jim. It appears to be the source of the anomaly. This isn't anything of ours. Spock! Are you all right? Energy discharge. Uh, damn it! Respirator! If her respirator's out, she'll die. Put me down in Spock's coordinates. That should be near Carol. I will grab her and you beam me back up. But, sir. Now, Mr. Scott! Energize. How are you doing it, son? <laughs> Captain, that was an incredibly <laughs> stupid thing to do. Uh, you're welcome. This isn't the first time you've had to deal with an attractive woman. Bones. I have no romantic interest in her. That would be wrong and improper as a captain. Oh, I agree, but that's not what I meant. I need to explore all possibilities, including sabotage. Well, that's one possibility I won't consider. If someone out there has a weapon of that power, we have to know. Is there an alien ship or not? Or maybe I'm just plain stupid. Okay, you are going way over the top on this. Over the top? I have barely left the launch pad. Dr. Marcus, shut up. Alien vessel. This is Captain James T. Kirk. She's charging her weapons. All hands red alert. Raise shields. Stand by phasers. Mm -hmm.